Clay! What? <laughs> How are you? Are you happy? Are you happy and you know it? Clap your hands. I'm happy, I know it. I'm blessed. Beautiful day. Great day to be alive. Great day to be out and about doing the business of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope you are. And if you're not saved, it's time to get saved so you can get out and about and be about his business too.
Hope you're ready for that midnight cry. Because I honestly believe it's getting closer every day. We best be, be sober, be diligent for your enemy, the devil. He's out and about seeking who he can devour, just like that roaring lion. Put your faith in the Word of God. Believe it. You know, they predicted for a long time that Jesus would be born, and Jesus was born. And they said he would die, and he died. And he said that he would rise, and on the third day he rose. We've been telling y'all for a long time he's going to come back. He's going to come back, y'all. He's going to come back and he's going to get us. He's going to take us out of here. Unless you ain't ready. If you've not accepted him, you're going to get left behind. And you think things are bad now? Mm -mm -mm. Y'all get ready. He's coming. And if you are ready, get out there and tell somebody. Tell them today's the day. There's no time to wait. There's no time to wait. You don't need to wait for tomorrow. You don't need to wait till you get to church. You don't need to... If you are not ready, you need to hit them knees and ask the good Lord to save you and make you ready. And then find you a good Bible and get into it and read it and read it and learn it and not just let it Go in one ear and out the other, so to speak. Let it sink down deep into your heart. Because the Word of God is the only thing that's going to get us through, people. He made us a lot of promises. I like the one where he said he'd never leave me or forsake me. And he won't let anything get to me. Nothing. That's why I can smile. And amongst all the trouble and tribulations of this world, I've got a smile on my face. It's because I'm ready for the midnight cry. I know how the book ends. I know I'm on my way to see my Savior. And I can't wait what a day that's going to be. It's going to be awesome. I hope you're ready. Because it's coming. And I'm telling you guys, it's an easy way. To, it's an easy fix to get ready. If you, uh, if you need help. If you need help and you need, you need somebody to explain to you how to get saved, send me a message. I'll get you my phone number. We'll get together. We'll talk about it. Because I don't want to see nobody lost and going to hell. Hell's a bad place. And it's going to last forever. I'd rather be celebrating and worshiping my King Jesus than to be tormented in the depths of hell forever. And anybody that would want to go to a place where it's going to be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth and constant pain and misery and suffering if I, that's not my idea of a good eternity but that's what's waiting on you if you ain't ready to go i ain't trying to scare you i'm trying to get you to open your eyes and see that you know truth's the truth sin 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 was sin back when god made adam and eve sin was sin back when god told noah to build the ark Sin was sin when God told Lot to take his family out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Sin is still sin because God don't change. He's the same today. He's going to be the same tomorrow. He's going to be the same for eternity. That's what I like about it. It's not like these rules and regulations that the CDC keep coming up with and changing every four months. And it's not like how they tell you four months ago that a mask would spread the virus, and now they're saying we need to wear a mask to keep from spreading the virus. If you look hard enough, you might find on the internet where you'll see I'm telling you the truth. I've paid attention, people. I've been paying attention a long time. The devil is using this whole thing to constantly keep you in fear because he wants to get your eyes off the prize. He is behind it all. But you got to remember, God created all life, and a virus is a life form. And God controls all life. Get your eyes on God, you won't have to worry about that virus. Think about it. You got your eyes on God, you don't have to worry about nothing. If you're looking for your heavenly home, it doesn't matter. Like Paul said, to live is Christ, to die is gain. Praise the Lord. I'm 
telling you guys. I love you and all. I mean, I come on here every day and try to give you a little truth and a little something to, to help you. Show you I love you. I hope you don't look at it as hate speech or anything like that because it's not. It's all out of love. It's out of love for the Lord and it's out of love for your soul. I don't want to see nobody lost and going to hell. But it takes repentance. And when you repent of something, you, you leave it behind. And you change from it and you move forward. And when you move forward with Him, everything else just falls right into place the way it needs to. It ain't going to always be easy. But the good Lord will be there with you. He won't leave you and He won't forsake you. And he'll help you get through because he's already won the victory. It's just up to us to claim it. So that's you a little something to think about this evening. And like I said, if you uh, feel like the Lord's dealing with you and you need somebody to talk to and you need somebody to help you, reach out to me. Shoot me a message. Like I said, I'll get you my phone number. We'll meet up somewhere if you want to. I ain't afraid to. And if you need somebody to get down and pray with you, I'll get down and pray with you. I don't care a bit, too. And when it's all said and done, if you need a hug, I'll give you a hug because the good Lord said he's going to take care of me. And I trust the good Lord. I hope you do, too. I love you guys. Oh, and by the way, Roy Cooper seen his shadow. We got six more weeks of quarantine. <laughs> I had to say that, y'all. I love you.